as promised with section two of basic computers 101, I wanted to show you some live versions of like where the start button is, what a window is, just to give you a better idea of the things that we discussed on the PowerPoint in part one. So you should be able to see my screen and down at the very bottom here, this is where the start button is on my particular version of the computer, which even looks different than the PowerPoint. So as mentioned in the PowerPoint, you know, it could just say start, it could be a colorful flag. In this case, it's just that blue um, flag there. And the start button, what it does is then pops up all the programs you can choose from. Usually they're in alphabetical order and you can end up opening those programs that might not already be on your desktop. So to show you the desktop, this is typically what the desktop looks like if it has nothing on it. However, most of the time your desktop will have some icons on it. And because I have three different screens, mine with all my icons on it is over here. So you don't see any icons right now um, just because it's not the same screen that is showing at this point. But you do see the taskbar below in this area. And I have several windows that are open. And as you scroll over them, you can kind of see um, the projects that I'm, I'm working with. And so the start menu is here in the taskbar. Here are the things that I've had open recently. Um, and then you've got the date and the time on this end. So I'll go ahead and open our internet window. Um, so this is an example of a window. It's got that minimize, maximize, which would make it the biggest as it is now full screen, or it'll make it smaller if it's already in the big form or I can close this out with the X here. And really a window could be just about anything, even the calculator. If I go over here to the calculator, I gotta pull it to the screen though, cause it went to my default screen. This is the calculator window. It's got a minimize, a maximize, and then a close button as well. So, Microsoft is known for the windows because it has lots of programs that can be opened up. And this is just an example of what a window could look like for you. And I really think that that's the most I was really wanting to show you guys was give you a feel for what that looked like on an actual computer um, to give you some more of that information. What I would encourage you to do to practice is to look for you know, typing type programs. Um, what you could do is go to Google and because you want to learn how to master your typing. So typing practice, you know, you could go ahead and Google some of these things and learn to type. You could type in, you know, different things that might help you. Um, typing games, I thought was one of them. So however you're a lear good learner, um, you may want to just kind of play around with that to get your typing um, skills up because that will make a difference. Even if you just really use the computer leisurely um, because you have to type in addresses to surf the internet. Um, and so forth, and that will make it a lot easier for you. So practice typing things like your name, your address, practice that punctuation, typing some practice sentences if you don't end up doing the game piece. Um, just kind of come up with some things on your own that you could type and practice using the keyboard and practice keeping your hands on that home row that we discussed. And that will wrap up basic computers 101. Thank you for joining us today.